What's up everyone? Day 19 of alternate day fasting. I think I've come to terms with the fact that I believe there is a cilantro shortage here in Puerto Rico and I don't know how to handle the situation. <laughs> I just love cilantro so much. I went to one grocery store, I'm walking to another. I was really happy because I woke up at about 4.30 a.m. and I was nervous that I was pushing, like changing my complete sleeping schedule, but I went to bed pretty early yesterday. Woke up at a good time. I had some business to take care of this morning, so I didn't go for a swim like I usually do, but I'm getting my morning walk in. I would love to get my 10,000 steps in before 8 a.m. I am on track to do that. Today's a feasting day. We shall see how that goes. I went to bed with a lot of hunger. Woke up with eh, a little bit of hunger, but not a ton. Like I never am, feel, I never feel like I want to eat right when I wake up. So that's a good that's a good thing. Got my supplies. I'm ready for Cinco de Mayo tomorrow. I'm in charge of the beans, the corn and cabbage salsa, and the tortillas. Okay, so it's 11 a.m. At 10:30 a.m., I started eating. I had one of my favorite things. It was like two ounces of dates, an ounce of cheese, and 20 grams of walnuts. The flavors together are just like <sighs> So delicious. Um, and then I also had an ounce of plantain chips. The plantain, the plantain chips at Costco, I don't know. I'm not really into chips, but those plantain chips are off the charts. So I'm in my car because I'm about to do a voiceover for a project that I'm working on. I hope to be able to share it with you by the end of the year if everything works out. I have a good feeling about it that I that it will work out and I will be able to share it with you. If it doesn't work out, I'll tell you about it because, you know, and the only reason why I have to keep it confidential is because the other party is asking me to keep it, keep it confidential or else I like to share all sorts of things. So I'm recording a vo voiceover for something right now. I wanted to eat the dates specifically because they do give me energy. And for the interview that I have coming up this afternoon, I knew that I needed extra coffee. So I had two extra cups of coffee. I had some dates and then I was also, I am going to have some tequila, probably at least an ounce of tequila because it's appropriate for the interview I have coming up this afternoon. I'm excited about that. As soon as I ate, I was like, okay, I have an appetite today. I'm supposed to start my cycle tomorrow. So like I said, within that week before starting my cycle, my appetite's off the charts. I could easily see today being a 3000 calorie day just because the appetite's there and I'm already 500 calories in. I am gonna try to focus on volume today. Have a, I have Brussels sprouts to eat and I need to cook some sweet potatoes as well. So we shall see, it should be interesting. But overall, like I just, I really, really, I, I know I'm not gonna say I really hope because I just know that this afternoon's gonna go well. Like I'm really feeling it. I have all my tunes playing. I got the caffeine, the tequila's coming. It's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be a good time. So I'm waiting for the interview to start. I'm sipping some tequila. This is not your average interview. This is not like a job I'm trying to get or anything professional. It's all fun and games. And so I hope I can eventually share this with you, but I'm preparing with coffee, tequila. I've heard those two things are delicious mixed. And just dancing, having a good time. You know, sober Mariah isn't that fun, but tipsy Mariah is a great freaking time. I finished the interview. I am so exhausted. I think it went well. The problem is that to get ready for the interview, I consumed between five and six cups of coffee, five ounces of tequila. I don't know how I'm gonna sleep tonight. I'm gonna have to just walk and walk and walk it out or sweat it out, get in my sauna. I need to like get the caffeine, the alcohol out of my system or else my sleep will be shit. All I've had is what I told you earlier, plus the black coffee. The tequila, I'm not overwhelmingly hungry. Tomorrow's Taco Tuesday. So I have to take that into consideration when I make food choices. I'm just mentally exhausted right now from having to be so on for 40 straight minutes. So today started out kind of weird in terms of like, oh my gosh, I have like this insane appetite. Like it's gonna be definitely a full day of eating. I had busy, I, I mean, I got busy. I had my interview to deal with. And then I met with friends afterwards at my new place because I wanted to show them my new place. Now I have kind of like this sweet filling in my mouth. I want something savory and I want something substantial because the bulk of my calories today have come from tequila and plantain chips. And I don't like that. 
I want something substantial. I think I'm gonna do Brussels sprouts with some chorizo right now. Maybe I'll do like a fried egg on top. Honestly, I've been kind of staying away from eggs for the most part, mainly because of medical medium suggestion about eggs feeding pathogens. So I really haven't like gone anti-eggs, but I have cut them out of my diet dramatically. So I just got home. 6.30 p.m. I still have way too much energy. I know it's gonna be so hard to fall asleep tonight. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna need to walk after seven. Like this, this curfew at seven, I don't give a flying fuck about the curfew, okay? I don't give a damn what the rules are. I don't follow these stupid ass rules that we have here in Puerto Rico. So I'll probably go out past seven, get a walk in, like burn some energy so that I have a shot at falling asleep at a decent time. So we'll see what happens, but um, but yeah, like I don't feel overwhelmingly hungry, but I, at the same time, like I, I feel like I've had not sweet stuff, but just like junk food today. So I want something substantial, but I'm not swollen, which is good. My energy's good. The last, since I've done alternate day fasting, my energy has just been like so good, so positive, just a good mood overall. I made something so tasty. So first I had eight ounces of Brussels sprouts, my new rice vinegar has a massive hole at the top. The one before was like a small dainty one. So now I feel like I'm still trying to use the other one and I pour way too much rice vinegar on my food. So then I added another eight ounce of cauliflower rice to tone it down a bit. I cooked an egg and put it on top. I got 1.75 ounces of chorizo. I put sesame oil. I put, uh, I found cilantro guys. I found cilantro, it was looking a little bit on the wilted side, but I found cilantro. So this is tasting hitting the spot right now. So I wanted to go ahead and talk about what I ended up finishing the day with yesterday. I had 1,898 calories, protein 9%, carbs 36, fat 30, and alcohol 25. I had a little fun yesterday. I had a little fun fun. Happy Cinco de Mayo. I got jalapenos in my eyes. It's so, so painful. So it's day 20 of my alternate day fasting routine. And this morning when I got up at 5 a.m., I decided to do the corn and cabbage salsa for the Cinco de Mayo party today. And a couple weird things happened. The onion made me tear up, which hasn't happened to me in years. And then I also chopped up a jalapeno. Well, two hours later, I thought I had washed the jalapeno-ness all off my hands and I went to go put my contacts in, but nope. That had never happened to me before. And oh wow, is the pain absolutely no joke. So I got the contacts out and now I'm trying to recover. Today's supposed to be a fasting day. I don't really know how that's gonna work out. It's Cinco de Mayo and it's Taco Tuesday combined into one. What I can say is um, I've had more alcoholic beverages in the last few days than I've had in a while. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull back the reins today. I tasted so far when I made my salsa to make sure it was okay. That made me hungry. So I think what I'm gonna just start doing, I'm on day 20. So moving forward is I wanna count up my fasting days, also my 500 calorie days to my zero calorie days. Then I'm going to count up my eating days and make sure that I'm 50-50. So this alternate day fasting, I'm being flexible with it. At the same time, I wanna stay on track. I haven't really weighed myself in a few days because I feel good, like I feel so good. I like, I don't know what's gonna come up on the scale and at this point I don't really care because I feel good and I don't want that to mess with anything. My energy feels good, my strength feels good, everything feels so good and I just want that to stay that way. I just got back from a really long walk. I have my lunch here, which is Brussels sprouts, cauliflower rice, cabbage salsa. The best cabbage salsa I've made so far has corn, cabbage, red onions, cilantro, radishes, carrots, jalapenos, red onions. Oh my God, it's delicious. With an egg, avocado. Mmm, the most delicious lunch. My walk was so long that my feet actually started hurting. I'm already 16,000 steps in for the day. I'm ahead of schedule. So far, so good. I am in such a bitch ass mood today and I laugh about it and smile about it because this is like such a rare occasion for me. I'm typically like good 
I'm like almost always in a good mood. I'm always a very positive person. But because I'm gonna start my cycle soon, it's gonna be like today, tomorrow, the next day. I feel like the recent fasting and like all the extra extra, extra exercise, not extra fries, <laughs> is going to potentially throw it off. But I'm in like this total bitch ass mood. One thing that is like one of my pet peeves is when someone tells me, you need to learn how to speak Spanish. Listen, if I wanted to learn how to speak Spanish, I would have done it already. I just really haven't put in the time or the effort. And this is what really gets on my nerves. If I'm in California and there's someone from Mexico and they don't speak English, the thought has never once crossed my mind to say, you need to learn how to speak English. Fuck off. This lady was like trying to have a conversation with me. I was so fucking irritated with her. I thought to myself, I don't want to fucking talk to you. So I literally turned my back to her. I was like, nope, I have no desire to converse with you. Absolutely zero desire. Um, I'm having Dr. Tuesday with friends today. The tortilla shop was finally open. I've recovered from the jalapenos in my eyes. Maybe that was a problem. Maybe I got off to a bad day start when I got jalapenos in my eyes. I've kind of just been grazing and snacking all day. Um, I probably had like 14 to 1500 calories at this point. It'll be kind of hard and challenging to track my calories at dinner tonight, but I'll do my best. I have this really weird sensation in my hands, like specifically my fingers, more like the tips of where, you know when you like go from really hot to something that's like really cold, like that change in temperature to where I feel like my hands are burned, but I also kind of feel like they're cold at the same time, which is a little bit strange. Hopefully I get a little bit less bitchy today moving forward. We shall see. I'm not putting any expectations on myself, but I literally have just been going through like thoughts in my head today. Like, why the fuck am I friends with this person? Like what value are they adding to my life? How are they helping me grow as an individual? I'm just getting like, my thoughts are just hard cutthroat today. And I'm laughing about it because it doesn't happen very often. Sometimes I wish, like I used to be way more mean. I was I was super mean as like a teenager, uh, like a middle schooler. And then when I hit like freshman, sophomore year in high school, like I completely shifted and I don't even really know exactly what it was. But I kind of missed when I was mean and I'd really hold my ground and I'd be willing to tell someone the fuck off. It felt nice, it felt good. And so I'm kind of, you know, in a weird way enjoying my bitch ass attitude today. So I just got done with the Cinco de Mayo celebrations. I have ended the day, well, so far today, 3,000 calories. I overestimated a lot of my calories just like, today was the first day that I'm like, I'm gonna wait, way, go way more than what I actually think I've had. So I did have about three ounces of tequila today. What I can say is that tequila's good. And uh, I just like, it feels so good to just go into these like celebratory days, like today Cinco de Mayo, and be like, this is good. Like, I don't need to be feeling guilty about what I'm eating. I could just enjoy it in the moment. And like, I'm on schedule, like I'm on routine. So I haven't seen exactly how many calories I've burned for the day with my BMR plus my activity, but it's probably in the 3000 range, mainly because I've taken like 19,000 steps so far today, nearly nine miles. So it's been a pretty active day, I would say. What's really strange is that it's starting to feel like 19,000 steps isn't an active day anymore because that's kind of like my new normal, my, my new baseline, which I'm kind of concerned about because then, like to maintain my current weight, I ha kind of have to just continue walking a ton of miles like that. I'm burping, I'm very, very gassy. It was probably the beans that made me really gassy. Maybe the corn tortillas. I feel like corn kind of messes with me sometimes. My friend said he bought ice cream, but he never brought out the ice cream. so. It's like my taste buds were like primed and ready for something sweet. So I'll probably head up to my apartment and have some dates and get my sweet tooth taken care of. I mean, I could go for a walk, but I just, I just hate having to take like a second shower of the day. Honestly, a lot of it just comes down to convenience. It's just af after 7 p.m. So I have a call with someone at, like in 45 minutes. So I just don't have the desire to like go out for a walk, get sweaty or hop into my sauna and have to shower and do all that jazz. Overall, good day. Tomorrow's a fasting day. I'm looking forward to it. My goal is zero calories, 
let's see if I could do it. Subscribe, like, and make sure that you stick around so you can see if I can complete a zero calorie day tomorrow. That's all I have for you today. As always, go out there and create a life that you love.